So this short video we're looking at gas exchange. The lungs contain thousands of air sacs containing tiny pockets called alveoli, which we see here from the animation. These are the air sacs, which consist of little packets called alveoli, which we'll look at in the next animation. These give the lungs a large surface area for absorbing oxygen and excreting carbon dioxide from the process of respiration in cells. So you can also see from the animation that the alveoli have walls that are only one cell thick. This is important for gas exchange, as we'll see in the next animation. So if we look at this animation here, you can see the capillary here, one cell thick, and the oxygen is coming from the lungs and going into the capillary. This means that because it's surrounded by large capillaries, that you have a large, very efficient gas exchange. You also notice that carbon dioxide and water also are leaving the capillary from respiration in cells via the blood and being exhaled. These thin walls mean the substances can be easily diffused in and out of the blood. So carbon dioxide goes from uh, being inside the alveolus to be breathed out via the air sacs and the bronchi and oxygen from inhaled air enters through the capillary to be used in cells for respiration. So that in a nutshell is what's happening with gas exchange.